In this video, we're going to go over connecting an alias via your Microsoft account. So if you're connected with a Office 365 or an Outlook account and you want to send from another email address that you already own, you can actually set that up in your Outlook account and then connect that alias in Mailshake. So first, we'll actually head over to our inbox. You'll want to make sure that you're actually in your Outlook or Office 365 or whichever inbox you're going to be sending from. That's a mail, uh, Microsoft email. And you'll actually head to your settings. What's handy here is you can just search your settings really quickly. So I just search for alias and I'll select connected accounts. Uh, it's not titled alias, but that's what you'll be able to connect your account. On the connected accounts page, you've got a couple options. So you can connect a Gmail account, which goes through a nice, super easy setup. A lot of times this is what people are gonna be doing. But if you're gonna be using another email account, uh, you'll click on other email accounts. You may need to get SMTP settings from your mail provider in order to actually connect to that. So you'll want to check with them. Mailshake doesn't have that list. That's actually going to be unique to your mail provider. So you'll want to double check with them on that just to make sure. In this case, I'm actually going to connect a Gmail account. So what I'll do is click Gmail and then I'll put in my display name. So I'm just going to say Trevor Mailshake. And then I've got a couple options. So I can connect my Google account so that I can import all the email and also send from, or I can just connect it so it's send from only, and it'll actually end up in that other inbox. Either or, you can select, I'm gonna keep it as importing that data. And then down here, you can choose where that imported email is gonna be stored. You can either create new folders in your Outlook or you can import into existing folders like your Outlook's inbox or some items and drafts. So I'll probably select this one. That way it's nice and in my inbox. Just going back to this one up here, if you want to actually work out of your Outlook account, you'll select this option. If you're planning to work out of your other email account, like maybe your Gmail account or whatever, you'll connect your Gmail account just for sending. So then that way it's not going to cause any you know, confusion or anything like that. I'm gonna go back to this option though, because I wanna work out of my Outlook account. So I'll click okay. And now the Google sign-in page is gonna show up here. I'm gonna select the correct mail account. I'm gonna give Microsoft um, and Google access to each other and click allow. And now your mail account is connected. So your Gmail account is connected for sending. Next, you'll just want to head over to your Gmail account. You should see an email pop up. If you don't, that's okay. Everything should be set up on this side. Uh, it's going to test everything in the inbox here anyway. All good to go. So I'll go back to mail accounts now in Mailshake, and I will click on the Microsoft mail account that I've got here. I don't have any aliases yet, so I'll click Add Alias. And now I'll go ahead and enter my alias email address. So it's gonna be trevormailshake at gmail.com. Because Microsoft has some restrictions, you're not able to change your from name. You'll actually have to change that in uh, your Outlook account. So I've added that mail address there. Click verify. Make sure that everything's connected. Edit my signature. Click done. And now I have my aliases here. Um, if I go back out here, click on that account, aliases, you'll see that it's listed right there and you're all good to go. If you need to make any edits to your signature for your alias, you can do that here as well.